Hey guys, Felix and Dolph Train Beyond. How you guys doing today? So, tip of the day. You want your dog to do something and um, they're not doing it. And you just don't know what to do. Well, a lot of times that happens is because um, you haven't motivated your dog. And by motivation is, I mean pay them. You want them to do something and you, they're not getting paid for something that they're doing. So you go to work, you want to get paid, right? So so does your dog. So in that way, they'll be motivated. So if I was, for example, if I was going to tell you, I want you to do a job for me. And that job is, you know... We have a task, and I say, I'm going to pay you $1,000 for 20 minutes of work. You're going to be like, whoa, I want to do that work. So, motivation for the dog, paying the dog. You ask them to do, come to you, you ask them to sit, whatever. In the beginning, if you have a dog that's really into food, you will use food. Um... Other reward is toy. Some dogs are more motivated by toy than food. I've seen it, and it's possible. Um, and then there are those dogs that are insecure, and they really don't have any kind of motivation for food or toy. So what are you going to do? You still have to pay them. So what you would go for is verbal or physical praise. Now, those are the basic three um, rewards. Food. Toy, praise, whether it's physical or verbal. So you come here, I'm going to give you a nice rub and say, good boy, you did a good job. Because you came to me when I called you. Um, if you want to teach them how to sit, how to down, how to come with you, you use food. Especially puppies and stuff like that. Or any, what we call green dog. A dog that doesn't have any training behind it. And then toy would be... Another thing you could use for certain items like coming to you, anything, any kind. Of, you can ask the dog to do whatever. Usually the process is food to toy. But if the dog doesn't have motivation for food to work and has more motivation for toy, then you might use switch to toy. Um, but you always could go to verbal praise. If you don't have a toy and you don't have food, you have nothing on you. Guess what? You got to get paid that dog for something. And every dog loves to get rubbed. The dog loves to hear that they're doing a good job and they're getting, you know, they're getting something good for what they're doing. Now, keep in mind there's other stuff that you could do um, as far as rewards. For instance, if I have a dog that likes to run when I open the door and they run out, they have a tendency to run out, and I want them to wait and sit, their reward is going outside. It's not... A, Exactly a physical thing that I could have in my hand, but something they want to do. So I asked them to sit or I asked them to wait, depending on the dog, before I open that door. And then, guess what? They do it, that door opens up. If they don't do it, they don't get to go outside. The door closes. So that's another example of using a reward that it, it's something that they want. It's not something that you have in your hand, exactly. It's like if you go to the movies or something like that, you want to do it, you got to do whatever you need to do to take care of You have chores or whatever you need to take care of before you get to go to movies because you really want to see that movie. So, um, and then going back to toy, toy doesn't exactly mean, you know, it could mean anything that they want as far as uh, something tangible. So, I've seen dogs that will work for a balloon. I saw... Uh, a, a train on YouTube, she was using a balloon as a reward. So it doesn't have to be a tug. It doesn't have to be a ball. Exactly. It's depending on what the dog desires. It's all about what the dog wants. No matter what it comes down to. Alright? So, for today's tip, pay your dog. You ask them to do something, you get a reward. Oh, one side thing too. A lot of times, I read this article one time, and I believe it's true. They were talking about how a lot of times dogs don't get reward, and what happens is the dog is not getting attention. So they actually do bad behaviors because they're getting more attention 
for doing the bad behaviors than doing good behaviors. They're not getting reward, they're not getting attention for doing the good behaviors. So they have more of a tendency to do bad behaviors. So pay your dog. You don't have to do it every single time, but tell them they're doing a good job. You go get reward, whether it's food, toy, praise, physical or verbal, or even something that they want, like going outside. All right, so Felix from Dog Chain Beyond, this is the tip of the day. Do me a favor, give me some likes, share this. Um, I'm going to be having videos like this every day. I'm going to be putting up more stuff. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Do me a favor, just keep on watching, all right? Felix from Dog Chain Beyond.